What's up? Welcome to the village of Makweni. And guys, I want to show you a bit of our farmland here in Makweni. This is a big massive gate. And let me take you inside so that I can show you what we have. You guys always say Africans are poor, Africans don't have what. You know, you can describe poorness in different, different category. But according to food, we do have food, man. We may not have money, but other stuff like food, we do have food. Let me take you inside so that I can show you. We have this big massive gate right here. And uh, as you can see from this small gate here, you can see some kettles. Oh my God. But they are very, very friendly. What's your name, bro? Please don't, don't, don't eat. <laughs> you can see guys, you have this uh, cow. We have some goats. As a cow, we have a lot of corn. As you know, from the corn we get Ugali, which a lot of Africans, especially East Africans going south, they usually eat something called Ugali. I don't know what you call it in your country, but the Ugali comes from the maize here. This is not the sweet corn, this is the other normal corn. And also guys, you can see we have Skuma Wiki. We usually eat, uh, we usually eat the Ugali with Skuma Wiki. And that's our staple food, guys. And also, as I told you, this is a farmland. We do have a avocado tree here. Don't you worry about the houses. I'm going to take you inside the houses in the next episode. So make sure you subscribe and put the notification bell icon on so that you don't miss the house tour here in the village. Hey, stop looking at me like that. <laughs> You see this? What's this? You can call it banana, plantain, or wherever. And in fact, guys, this thing is very, very tall. You know, back in Mombasa, we have some different, or I don't know how these banana trees grow in your farmland or in your countries, but here in Kenya, in Makweni County, this is what you get. See, it has a lot of bananas. Wow. Some other cones here. And this is the avocado tree. Look at it, man. And it has avocados. I'm not lying. Let me show you. You see? There is avocado. It's not yet ripe. There is another one there. And also another one there. There's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of avocados all the way up. You can see. So we don't consume all of the avocados, most of them we sell. And let me take you down here. We still have some other banana trees. And still other maize trees. And still that one there is called beans. I don't want to go to the shamba because maybe there's something which is planted there. So I'll just film from this point. These ones here are beans. The one down, down there. Those are beans in between the, the maize. Let me take you up because we do have, uh, we do have trees which provide uh, timber or you can sell it for a very, very good amount of money. They're usually called, I'm not sure if it's eucalyptus or I'm not sure about that. Let me take you up so that I can show you. But then before we go up there, let me show you some. We have uh, these houses for chicken. We have some sugar cane. Very, very sweet. We have water. Plenty, plenty of water. But then this is skuma wiki and spinach. You're going to take it for lunch. Oh. No water? Let me show you where we're going to get water. Because I... I just closed the tap of, from the main supply of the tank. We have two tanks, in fact, guys. So, unfortunately, we haven't pumped water to the upper tank so that house can have water. So, we are using this water here. So, you have to unlock this. We usually do this for security purposes. We usually close this for security purposes. So that no one can 
Come and steal water. <laughs> yeah. Not that this area has a lot of thieves, but it's good to be secure. Then I go show you the water. Then I take you up to the trees which we have planted them for so that we can sell. But there our land is straight from the or it's across the road. We are so lucky that our land is stretched across along whatever you can call it the road. Okay. Here's the water. The pressure is low, but it usually comes with a lot, a lot of pressure. I'm gonna eat this for lunch. Let me tell you something, especially you guys who are from uh, outside Africa. These are fresh, fresh spinach, and they are organic. That means they don't have any kind of pesticide. They are very, very fresh. Look at these kumawikis. Very, very fresh. Out of them, the shamba. I, sh I showed you earlier. I showed you earlier. We have skumawiki. And these are what I was talking about. And the spinach also. Look at them. Wow. So we're washing so that we can remove the soil. Cut it, fry it. Eat it with our gully. <laughs> Look. You can see this tree going up. This is a mango tree. It was grafted and ta -da! it has mangoes ready to eat. Let me where, where are the mangoes? Here. You can see the mango there. Some two mangoes there. There's another mango. Wow. Yeah, we have a little fence here with plants. We don't construct fences here with uh, stones or Whatever, we just do this one. This one is enough to prevent things like chicken going outside or dogs. Yeah, so let me take you up. Two tanks which uh, they are very, very enough. When they are full, oh, we can, it can sustain us for a very, very long time. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me take you up. Let me take you up. There's some stones. Bricks, you can call them bricks. Those bricks are usually used to construct houses. Ooh, oh my god! <laughs> Don't say that this is not our our land because the fence goes this way. It just covers the the houses. But this other side also we have fence. I'm gonna show you. You see these trees? Please leave a comment and tell me the name of these trees are. They are very, very tall and very, very straight. Oh, Jesus. Wow. And it's very, very cold. Wow. I'm just enjoying this area. You see, all these trees are for sale. Or in case we need, we need to use some, we need timber. We have, we don't need to buy. And also, something nice about Africa or the world, you know, you, you don't need to buy uh, fuel so that you can cook. Like people usually use uh, gas and some people use electricity to cook. But here we have free fuel which is firewood <laughs> you see we come here collect the firewood go back inside the house prepare food for free and the food you also don't buy we have the food as i showed you before and also something nice about uh, africa in general is that we don't buy a lot of things what we buy in the house is like the salt the sugar the things that we don't uh, have but the other things especially like chicken meat yeah you just go if you need meat you go slaughter a cow you put that you store the meat you eat it for a couple of days if you want chicken you go slaughter one you eat 
but when you are in town side but then not only this happens only in the village areas but when you're at the town you know at the town you don't have enough land so that you can do some agricultural agricultural stuff like there so you find yourself not cooking with firewood you have to use gas and other stuffs so i need to take you here so that i can show you we sold a tree we sold a tree a very very tall tree look at this you see you see oh, it looks like there was fire here man you see this charcoal it has uh, some foam i don't know what to call foam this when you burn something and one of the best things that the government of Kenya did to the villagers is providing electricity. You see, we do have electricity. And a lot of houses are connected to electricity. And you know, when electricity comes into our area, everything grows. Because you know you have power. You can do your stuff during the night hours. You don't need to use things like paraffin so that you can illuminate yourself during the night. You have electricity. Also, a lot of people invested in solar panels so that they can, you know, sometimes here at the village, <laughs> you don't get uh, a smooth flow of electricity throughout the week. Let me say not a day because through a day you can go with electricity. But I say through the, the week. So you have to ensure, especially if you're a person who uses electricity for a lot of stuff, you have to make sure you have invested yourself to things like solar panels. Yo, and I told you something. Our land is directly to this main highway. Main highway. This is it. We have a fence here. We're going to fence it very, very well. Very, very well. And we're still planting some these trees, these long trees. Let me show you. Here, I forgot to show you. You see? There. We're still planting. Still planting. Yeah? Still planting. Okay, I don't know what she's saying. So I wasn't getting what that uh, old lady was saying, but that was it, the farm tour. And if you want to see the other video of the houses, make sure you subscribe so that I can show you. And leave a comment and leave a comment so that I can know how many people want me to do the house tour in this village. And subscribe for more content because I'll be doing a hike. I'll be going uh, on top of a uh, certain hill here, so stay tuned so that you can enjoy. Yeah, when a mot motorcycle passes, the dust. But there, the governors say that he's gonna construct the road. Even some, I saw some tractors used to construct the road i'm sure they're gonna construct it very very soon so that we can have a smooth ride because the road isn't far from here somewhere there the 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 nice the nice road so that they can put some tarmac here also so thank you so much adios next i'll see you on that top of the hill right there